Now, um, I note from the Minister, Dennis <coughs> Nocton, on the committee that he constantly says we're fully committed to a policy that will see on post remain a strong, viable company in a position to provide a high quality postal service and maintain a national network of customer focused post offices in the community. And I welcome that, but I'm sorry, closing 80 post offices as a matter of uh, immediacy is really, really tragic, I think, for rural Ireland. Now, you're from rural Ireland, you're from a beautiful part of rural Ireland in County Mayo. I'm from uh, Ballyfermot, as it happens, and we have post offices there, but one, some, one or two of them are closing in South Central. But nevertheless, the impact of the closure of post offices in the towns and villages where you come from, in Kerry, in Clare, in Donegal, in other parts of the country, is going to be enormous. And as some journalists said this morning, would the last person leave in rural Ireland please turn the lights out? Because you've disappointed the people on the provision of bus service, you're now closing the post offices. Uh, this is just not acceptable. And the people of rural Ireland need decisions that are going to be made to support them, not neoliberal decisions about where can we make the most profit and if we don't make profit therefore the service is not viable. I want to argue that we sprang to attention when the banks went down and we sprang to attention overnight and bailed them out with our money. What are we going to do to bail out rural Ireland and to keep those post offices open which are essential not just to the uh, financial fabric but the social fabric of, of uh, our towns and our towns and country villages.